Here's a fun fact. I just got done filming a review for The King's Man. It currently sits at 6.5 on IMDb. Demolition Man? 6.7. What kind of messed up world do we live in where Demolition Man is only ranked 0.2 higher? It's disgusting, it's despicable, it's bullshit. Okay. I've been on a kick lately where I've been watching classic action films with my family. Demolition Man was next on the list. Last week it was Speed. I was very excited for this one, and I thought it was actually a lot better than Speed going in. Now, well, not so much. Nostalgia dealt me a heavy hand going in, but when I flipped the cards over, they weren't the kings and queens I thought they'd be. I'm not gonna lie, cards aren't my bag, baby. I don't even know if that's good to have kings and queens when playing whatever game I'm playing. But Demolition Man is still a fantastic film. Just not quite as great as I remember it. Speed's actually, Speed's actually held up a lot nicer. As for the family situation, my kids both thought it was good. My wife left about an hour in. Sorry Jason Momoa's not there to keep your attention! We're working through some things. Unlike Speed, 1993's Demolition Man has a layer of cheese on top. It's got a lot more campiness to it. At times, it kind of feels like you're watching Batman and Robin with some of those camera shots and just how things look on camera. Some of it really feels like a stage. Shoddy camera work and some sketchy visuals aside, there is a ton to love about this movie and appreciate. For starters, it's way ahead of the times. I mean, we got VR sex in this thing. We have some really clever social and economic commentary going on. You know all the people now yelling woke about all movies in Hollywood? This shit was happening in the 90s. That's what makes Demolition Man so good, is on the surface, yes, it's an action film. You got Rocky Balboa, Sylvester Stallone. He's just throwing punches, that's all he does. I don't think he throws a kick. I don't think he picks his legs up in this movie. You got Wesley Snipes playing a phenomenal villain, Simon Phoenix. By the way, the names, so good. Simon Phoenix? John Spartan? Are you kidding me? Then there's the underground leader, Edgar Friendly, played by Dennis Leary. He's the one that gets a lot of that commentary I was talking about. Fighting against the man and the establishment. Talking about how he wants to run around naked, covered in jello, just because he feels like it. Giving women the choice about what they want to do with their bodies. Yes, this stuff is in this film, kids! in 1993. And speaking of speed, we got Sandra Bullock in this one too as Lenina Huxley. She kicks ass, she takes names. And she really knows how to turn a phrase the wrong way as she often says things incorrectly. My kids also appreciated this since we'd recently watched Austin Powers. So seeing the naked guys frozen in ice and being thawed out was pretty humorous to them. I then had to explain to them what Planet Hollywood was and that you could see that giant ice sculpture naked Stallone hanging overhead while you have a nice piece of chicken. Not so nice, actually their food was pretty bad. So what's this film all about? Well, John Spartan has been tracking down notorious Simon Phoenix for years and he finally has him cornered, only to find out he's just been framed for the killing of, uh, I think 20 or 30 people that were on a bus. Boom, blown up. Spartans put in cryogenic freeze. Sentenced, I believe, for 70 years, but thought out early, 30 or 35 years into the future, to once again apprehend Simon Phoenix, who was just released from prison a day earlier. This is where things get tricky. Simon Phoenix, for some reason, knows a lot about the future. He has the access codes, he knows how to operate the machines, he even has a mark to assassinate without actually knowing who the guy is. And this is because mastermind Dr. Raymond Cocteau put these ideas in his head. He gave them these abilities in the future so that he could do his dirty deeds for him. You see in the future, in this case 2032, that's right, only a decade from now, Dr. Raymond Cocteau has made what he considers a paradise and many people appreciate what he has brought to the table. There's no more crime, there's no more guns, the only fast food chain around is Taco Bell because they won the franchise war. So now every restaurant is Taco Bell. The music people listen to are commercial jingles on the radio. And all physical contact is now prohibited. People give each other high fives by whoop, getting close to the hands, but then doing a little circle motion. I love it. I used to do that with my brother all the time. It was, it was so funny for us and only us. Since there hasn't been any violence in a couple of decades, 
Cops don't even know how to cop anymore. And Simon Phoenix has basically carte blanche to do whatever he wants to the damn city without any real consequence or pushback. Rob Schneider has a great line in reference to this. We're police officers. We're not trained to handle this kind of violence. In fact, this movie is chock full of great lines. Excuse me, sir. What seems to be your boggle? Simon says die. Exactamundo. You can take this job and shovel it. Someone put me back in the fridge. In order to catch a maniac, you gotta send another maniac. And in this case, it's John Spartan. Snipes and Stallone play off each other so great. It's awesome watching these Hollywood legends beat the shit out of each other and exchange one-liners. It, it, it really is a one-liner off. Every single time they shoot a gun or dive out of the way, they throw a little chestnut to us. It's been far too long since I watched an old Sly Stallone movie. Man, I miss how he grunts and does these weird yells every time he does the most basic of things. He shoots a chain, he's like, Ugh! He tries to eat something, Ugh! He opens the door of a car, Ugh! Everything takes a massive amount of force and I'm here for all of it. Other notables in this film are Associate Bob, who looks like a reject from a Hunger Games film, the clueless officer Alfredo Garcia, who's just happy to be part of any of this, and the super douchey police chief who's constantly at odds with John Spartan, who also looks a lot like Dr. Evil. And I wouldn't be surprised if Mike Myers uh, took the appearance of this character and tweaked him since we know that he clearly took some inspiration from the cryogenic stuff. We of course can't talk about Demolition Man and not speak of the three seashells. That's a staple of this film. It's an ongoing joke in the real world. The three seashells gets brought up like every five years and I laugh every time I think about it. Lastly, there's the music. Another area where I think this movie falls a little short and definitely shows its age. Sometimes the movie is competent and has your traditional 90s score, but other times, and these are usually the parts with Wesley Snipes' character, the, the Simon Phoenix stuff just is weird. It's got like that like While this is going, he's usually doing a I love Snipe's fighting style though. He's got the, the quick rapid punches. So good. And he dies hard in this. The way Stallone takes his head off looks like something straight out of Mortal Kombat. Uh, just a beautiful Sub-Zero fatality. So that's Demolition Man. Definitely showing its age, but it's still a big blockbuster film that everyone should see. Mainly for the memes, the references, some of the good social commentary, the great one-liners. Action's fine. Action's still solid. It's not, I mean, there's a lot better out there now, of course, but seeing these two big names go at it for a while, that's worth the price of admission. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the movie now. Do you think this is a grade A top sirloin? Or is it more of a gross rat burger? Please leave a comment down below and let me know. Like the video if you had a good time. Think about subscribing if you haven't. I post tons of movie content and I'm really getting into the nostalgia videos as well. At least one a week now. Make sure to fucking hit that notification bell. Okay, come on. So that these videos show up right in your feed, ready to go. Now I am a little scared talking about Demolition Man right now because I'm worried that if I say its name a few times, Hollywood will be like, do I, do I hear a remake possibility? Let's do it. Let's ruin another one. Since you're still here, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies or becoming a YouTube join member. You just go and hit that join button and you become a member instantly. It's like five bucks a month and you get exclusive access to shows, some polls, uh, you see insights from me that no one else gets to. Or maybe you're thinking about getting your own channel sponsored. Head on over to fiverr.com slash adamdoesmovies and you can see the tiers I have there for options to get noticed on this channel. Help me help you.